Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at an example uh, illustrating the bilinear transformation method for uh, converting an, an converting an analog filter to a digital filter. So we are going to look at. So given the following analog filter system function, H A of S equal to omega c by s plus omega c. So given this system function, we want to convert this one into a digital filter, a digital IIR filter. So in this example, we are going to assume that omega c is equal to, so in this example, we are going to assume that that omega c for the digital filter, that is the cutoff frequency for the digital filter is given by 0 0.25 pi radians per second. So that is the uh, digital cutoff frequency. So now we have to compute the uh, or evaluate the uh, system function for the digital filter. So for that we need the following uh, transformations. That is we need the following bilinear transformation. So for the variable s the required transformation is 2 by t 1 minus z inverse divided by 1 plus z inverse. So that is the transformation for the variable s. Now for the frequency the transformation is given by the analog frequency omega is equal to 2 by t uh, tangent that is tan of omega by 2. Omega is the frequency corresponding to digital domain. So the relation is omega is equal to 2 by t tan of small omega by 2. So so the cutoff frequency for the analog filter will be omega c is equal to 2 by t tan of and uh, omega c that is uh, omega c from the digital filter that is which is, which is given as 0 0.25 pi divided by 2. So this will be equal to so this will be equal to 2, 2 by t 0 0.4142 that is tan of 0.125 pi or tan of pi by 8. So that is the value. Now by using the transformation s is equal to 2 by t 1 minus z inverse by 1 plus z inverse in the given system function we can write the system function in the digital domain that is system function of the of digital IIR filter digital IIR filter is given as h of z is equal to uh, omega c that is 2 by t 0 0.4142 or omega c, tan of uh, pi by 8 2 by t tan of pi by 8 or 0 0.4142 mul uh, divided by the transformation that is 2 by t 1 minus z inverse divided by 1 plus z inverse and then plus again 2 by t uh, 0 0.4 0 0.4142 or tan of pi by 8. Now by, multi now by multiplying the numerator and denominator with 1 plus z inverse we can write h of z as a po uh, rational polynomial with the fun uh, which is a function of z inverses that is uh, inverse z's. So h of z is equal to 0 0.4142 multiplied by 1 plus z inverse this 2 by t is gone because it is common in both the numerator and denominator. So and the, then we have 1 minus z inverse plus 0 0.4142 into 1 plus z inverse. So now we can rewrite this one as h of z is equal to 0 0.4142 into 1 plus z inverse divided by 1.4142 um, and then minus 1 plus 0.4142 that is like 1 minus tan of pi by 8 that is 0 0.5857 z inverse. Now to get a standard structure for h of z we divide the uh, both numerator and denominator with 1.4142 so that we have h of z is equal to 0 0.2929 multiplied by 1 plus z inverse divided by 1 minus divided by 1 minus 0 0.587 by uh, 1.4142 which is again 0 0.4142 z inverse. So that is the final structure of the uh, system function in the digital domain. That is the, it is the system function of the digital IIR filter. Digital IIR filter. So we can see that the poles are actually different compared to the uh, analog domain. So here the poles are there is only one pole and it is equal to 0 0.4142 R. the pole is at 0 0.4142 and the 0 that is 0 for this system function is located at minus 1. So 1 0 here and another pole somewhere here. So that's a 0 that's a pole. 0 is located at minus 1 and the pole is located at 0 0.4142 both are on the 
real axis. So to summarize, we have looked at an example illustrating the application of bilinear transformation, bilinear transformation for converting an analog filter to a digital IIR filter. So given the uh, system function of an analog IIR filter, H, H A of S as omega C by S plus omega C uh, with the digital filter's cutoff frequency being 0 0.25 pi radians per second, we can apply the bilinear transformation as follows. That is, we have uh, transformation of the variable S as S equal to 2 by T into 1 minus Z inverse by 1 plus Z inverse and uh, the relation between analog and digital frequencies are is given by omega is equal to 2 by T tan of omega by 2 that is capital omega means the analog frequency small omega is the digital frequency so the cutoff frequency for the analog uh, domain will be 2 by T tan of 0.25 pi by 2 that is 2 by T tan of pi by 8 now the system function in the digital domain that is the digital system function h of z can be computed as uh, by just replacing omega c with 2 by t tan of pi by 8 or 0.4142 divided by 2 by t 1 minus z inverse by 1 plus z inverse plus 2 by t 0.4142 and upon sim some simple algebra to make sure that the uh, constant in the denominator is 1 we get that h of z is equal to 0 0.2929 into 1 plus z inverse by 1 minus 0 0.4142 z inverse so the pole of this system function is zero uh, is located at 0 0.4142 that is a tan pi by 8 and then the 0 is located at minus 1 both are on the real axis in the z plane thanks for watching